guys, today I'm going to be talking about the top three unsung heroes from the 2021 BWL season. So let's jump right into it. Um, number three on my list is Lucas Betton, who was a con I mean, most improved player of the year in 2021. Um, Lucas definitely struggled early on um, in his BWL career, um, but later on in that season, his final six games, I think, were absolutely amazing. I believe he batted 348 in a 250 batting average in total, and he had three home runs, which is absolutely amazing, considering he had three home runs in just um, two series. Um, the first series, he did not get a single hit, but the next two, he got a home run in both of them. He got one off of Drew and me, so definitely like some top pitchers that he had some home runs off of. So Lucas definitely had an amazing season, but he's kind of underrated, um, kind of overshadowed by Jackson and Brennan um, and Logan last year. So um, be looking for Lucas to have another really good hitting season. Um, he doesn't really pitch that much. Um, his ERA last year was 5.14, um, so not amazing on the mound, but um, he can get it done sometimes pitching some strikes. Um, the next person that I want to talk about for the Wildcats is Travis. Um, Travis, definitely, same thing. He started out with the Dingers. Didn't have, didn't, I don't think he got a single hit or anything. But when he played for the Wildcats, his batting average was 500. Um, and that was in six games. And he had 23 plate attempts. So Travis definitely, for being... I think he was traded for, I don't even, I think he meant, no, he was a free agent signing, actually. So, he was a free agent signing about mid-season. Um, so, that was like, no, he was, he was traded for Kristoff. It was Kristoff for Travis. So, Kristoff played one game, and I don't, I think he was 0 for 3. And he led this team to like a world two. Well, he didn't lead them, but that, he was definitely of that Four three that really led that Wildcats to that World Series. He unfortunately couldn't um, attend the World Series because he had to go to a funeral. But Travis definitely had a very good, solid season. He even put up two home runs. So I mean, uh, he's kind of overshadowed by me and Brady, but he still had a really good season. The next person, which I feel like is the most undershadowed player, I know, unsung hero, um, is RJ. Um, RJ, um, he, like, I don't know, he's, like, never played baseball, but he, his stat lines are actually amazing. Um, he bats, he batted 250, um, which is about average in the league. Um, but RJ was traded for, like, nothing for, for the Sharks. So, he's definitely, a, he, he's not, like, a top-tier player, but, and he's, like, under, uh, overshadowed by a few people on his team, but RJ actually had a really solid year. Now um, he has one famous home run that he hit off of me. Um, he had I don't think he had a hit all day, and he just sailed it over the fence. Um, so that's one of his probably brightest moments um, in the BWL. Um, RJ um, has had a he started out with the Sharks, and then he went to the Dingers. He played a total of I believe six games, um, so a decent amount of games, about two thirds of them. But he, that was all he could attend because um, he was traded like midway through the season in an awkward spot. So um, make sure to check the link down in the description for Amazon Audible. There you can start your free trial. Um, the link's down in the description, and it really helps the channel. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.